Hey, let's get started cracking the digital marketing tracking secrets. This session is about one question which is circling every marketer and business owner's minds. And if it hasn't hit you yet, it will soon hit you. Should you upgrade from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4? If yes, what will I miss from Universal Analytics? And what will I get in new features in Google Analytics 4? If I decide not to upgrade, how long can I stay on Google Analytics? If you are looking for answers to all of these questions and much more, keep watching till the end. I am Nikhil, your marketing man, and let's get started with basics of Google Analytics 4 versus Universal Analytics. Super simple Google Analytics, which we have all used for over 10 years, changes drastically with GA4. So brace yourself for a steep learning curve. Fundamentally with GA4, Google Analytics moves away from session-based measurement to event-based measurement. About time, right? Which changes everything from which metrics are measured and how they are measured. So guess what? Yes, get ready for more learning. For years, you're used to account hierarchy of Google Analytics of account property and view. With GA4, now concept of view goes away and which is replaced by data stream. Apart from this, classical reporting interface makes way for new sleek interface. Here is a quick snapshot of the new sleek interface of GA. Looks cool, doesn't it? Here are some more changes from Universal Analytics to GA4. Tracking ID is called measurement ID. I don't think that makes a huge change from usage perspective though. Remember all those GTM and JavaScript hacks that you used to come up with to track scroll bars, file downloads, video plays, outbound links, and much more like that? Well, all of those JavaScript coders, you don't need them anymore. Because with GA4, all of these events can be tracked automatically without writing a single line of code. One of the most positive changes in GA4 is event data format. Old rigid format of event category, action and label is gone. You can send up to 25 parameters in key value pairs for each event. Here is a quick comparison of event structure of Google Analytics and GA4. Older version, you had to cramp all the information in just three headings and now you can have up to 25 pairs of information about each event. And you don't have to stick to predefined keys of category action and labor. You can define your own labels as you wish, which are suitable for your business or which are easier to read or which make more sense for the data itself. Universal Analytics custom reporting was well structured, but it was very rigid. You were stuck between three types of reports. Now data can breathe fresh air with new flexible reporting and several visualization options with GA4. On the downside of GA4, the data retention is limited to 14 months, which for Universal Analytics was unlimited period. But I guess as a marketer, we now have to learn to live with the fact of shorter windows of data retention anyway. Universal Analytics had a simpler but rigid way of defining custom metrics and dimensions, while GA4 makes it completely flexible. Although there is no session level scope for custom definitions in GA4, but that's because the concept of session itself will be history soon. Here is a quick snapshot of data visualization options in GA4 custom reporting. Looks exciting, doesn't it? Looks like a playground for any analyst. An ancient metric relevant only to desktop age called bounce rate is gone. There is no concept of bounce rate in GA4. There is something similar to non-bounce users exists in GA4 which is called engaged sessions which if you are in love with bounce rate as a metric, you can use to substitute it. This is something exciting. Universal Analytics by default had same reporting interface for all business verticals. 
but GA4 has recently come up with a special interface for gaming as a vertical and I hope other verticals will follow soon. Universal Analytics had a very rigid framework when it came to funnel visualization. But with GA4 custom reporting, you can have on-demand funnels which you can build practically on the fly. Even creating goals in Universal Analytics had limitations. Historical data limitations, how many goals you can create, that had a limitation and multiple other limitations. With GA4, you can create multiple goals on the fly as you wish. Here we go. This is a quick snapshot of vertical specific reporting which shows games reporting for now but i hope more verticals are coming soon with universal analytics only people with deep pockets on google analytics premium version could access raw data with bigquery but ga4 democratizes this feature by making bigquery connection available to everyone for free If you decide to move to GA4, what will you miss? GA4 when it comes to multi-channel reporting, uh, it's still not great. It's still evolving. So if you are a big fan of multi-channel funnel reporting, uh, that is something you'll definitely miss in GA4. E-commerce reporting, I would say it's still evolving. So if you use enhanced e-commerce reports a lot, then you might miss those, but it's evolving fast. So keep catching up this channel and soon I guess I'll have another update about it. It has a lower data retention threshold of 14 months compared to unlimited of universal analytics. Uh, but I think that's something all marketers in long term will have to live with. If you do decide to migrate, then you should be ready for unlearning universal analytics. That is the first step. There has been so much change conceptually itself in the way that metrics are measured. You first will need to unlearn universal analytics to learn Google Analytics 4. You'll need to work very, very closely with your tech team for new instrumentation. You will need to define new event schemas. Changes in metrics and reporting will force you to build your reports from scratch and probably in new formats. Beyond that, you have to make sure that you actually educate and train your team and your bosses. If you do decide to upgrade, what are the risks that you are facing? If you do not upgrade, what are the risks? If you or your company decides to launch a new website or app, it can no longer be on Universal Analytics after October 2020. So all the new apps and all the new websites will be on by default Google Analytics 4, which means you will anyway need to learn and understand that. In last couple of months, whatever the features have been released, I haven't seen a single feature for Universal Analytics being released, while multiple features are being released for Google Analytics 4, which means that Universal Analytics seems to be stagnated at some level. Universal Analytics in mid to long term will face a risk of deprecation. Ah. Although Google hasn't given a specific date about deprecating Universal Analytics, it's not a question of if. It's just a question of when it will be deprecated. Here is the final word. So what's the verdict? What would I do in this case? What I have done is I'm maintaining both Universal Analytics and GA4, which is quite a bit of a headache, which has doubled my work. I'm having nightmares about explaining discrepancies between two platforms to my clients. But I am decreasing my dependency on Universal Analytics and as GA4 gets more and more robust, I will eventually move out of Universal Analytics.